Hello and welcome to my first unboxing video. Uh, I've been busy, I've been looking online. Um, in the UK all the uh, shops have closed apart from food shops, um, pharmacies, that sort of thing. So we are left to buy other goods and services online. So. Um, I've been beavering away looking online and you'll see in front of me I've got three boxes marked up with Ioptron um, I've managed to purchase an Ioptron mount to form one of the basics of my Astro Astronomy new hobby um, I must give a shout out to Rother Valley Optics who I bought this from. Fantastic service. Um, it was delivered within two days of order and I didn't order it till like five o'clock at night on, on one day so um, stout effort from them to get it to me here on time. Um, obviously what we are finding in the UK a lot of the astronomy shops are running low on stock because a lot of it is made in China and of course China's on lockdown so the supply chain is a little bit disrupted at the moment and there's quite long waiting lists for equipment so I say very thankful for Rother Valley Optics to have one of these in stock and uh, to send it to me uh, I have bought it mind you, I mean sort of given it for demonstration purposes or anything it is mine um, and this will form the bedrock of my astro astronomy adventures so let's get into the unboxing Quite a beefy tripod, as you can see. Um, I'll set it up on the floor and then we'll uh, get the rest of the boxes out and see how they all go together. Okay, so here's the uh, next box, which is obviously the mount itself. case and here we go so we've got various uh, leaflets and a quick start guide and which I'll have a look at offline and then we have the uh, the mount itself. Various leads. And the hand controller. Go to no hand controller. And a fairly chunky weight here. Um, she's obviously what was weighing the box, the, uh, box down the front. Have a power lead. Two pin, not UK plug, so I might have to go on to the Rother Valley on that one. See if that's what's supposed to be there. Get more leads and things. RS232 and here is the, uh, the mount itself. 
Mount Kate. Small and compact, quite lightweight really. Have the various connectors and things like that. Got a polar alignment scope built in, Coming very handy. So I'll have a quick read of the instructions and uh, then we'll move on to box three. Cool, see you in a minute. There was, of course, a couple of bits missing from that uh, unboxing, and rather cleverly they're located under this foam in the lid. There's the counterweight extension bar. and the tripod locking and spreader plate. So I'll just get those all assembled. Be back with you shortly. Okay, so let's have a look at the third and final box. Be wondering what is this because he's sort of got the mount and he's got the uh, mount head. So actually, as I'm a bit of a lanky lad, I've gone ahead and bought the tripod extension. And here it is. Um, it'll just give me a little bit of extra height when the whole setup is uh, put together and just give me that little tiny bit of extra clearance between the telescope and the, the mount head itself. So we've got the uh, type extension piece And then we've got three bolts and spacers to uh, space it out. Should we need an Allen key to adjust this? So there's two possible configurations for this. Um, this shorter length, five and a half inches extension. extension. Or with the aid of these extension pieces, we can just drop them in and then we get eight and a half inches of extension. And we use these longer bolts. Okay, so dropping them down and doing them up. So in the next video, we'll see it all coming together. And then in a subsequent video, I'll uh, uh, run through the uh, telescope I bought, which I bought second hand. Um,